Hi there and welcome back for another cryptocurrency news update. Well, let's start by taking a quick look at the cryptocurrency market today. Well, Bitcoin climbed past 8,500 US dollars. Ether is still over $800. Bitcoin Cash gained more than 24% over the past 24 hours, moving past 1,200 US dollars. It hit a record high on December 20th of over 4,000 US dollars. Let's check out some other news. Lian Lian International has joined RippleNet to receive real time cross border remittances, invoice payments, and e commerce payments. It is licensed in Hong Kong with 150 million registered users in the region. Lian Lian will use XCurrent. This is Ripple's settlement solution that offers end to end tracking to power cross border transactions between China, the US, and Europe. This does not seem to have much to do with Ripple's token XRP though, and the news seems to not have had much of an impact on its price, as they will use XCurrent and not XRapid. XCurrent uses fiat, while XRapid uses XRP as a transaction currency. Moving over to some other news, researchers at government think tank the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences said in a report that central banks should actually consider using digital currencies in cross-border payments, as it could actually be faster and more cost-efficient. The report also revealed that as the new system becomes more open, more flexible and more inclusive, all the developing countries will get fair and easy access to these services. The report proposed three different types of payment systems, but it also reveals that the development of digital currency payment systems could be a challenge for global transaction service provider SWIFT. And Arizona might become the very first state to accept Bitcoin and allow people to pay taxes with it. Arizona State Representative Jeff Wenninger said that it's one of a litany of bills that we're running that is sending a signal to everyone in the United States and possibly throughout the world that Arizona is going to be the place to be for blockchain and digital currency technology in the future. Arizona State Senate Minority Leader Steve Farley said, if we had a bill that allowed people to pay their taxes in Bitcoin directly, that puts the volatility burden on all other taxpayers, because it would mean that the money goes to the state, and then the state has to take the responsibility of how to exchange it. These are American dollars. They're good enough for me. They should be good enough for anybody else who pays taxes in this country. So what do you think? Well, share with us your thoughts in the comments below and see you later. Thanks for watching.